Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer, and uh, I have in my hand here both a Zoom HD and the T-Mobile HTC Touch Pro 2. The Touch Pro 2 um, is a Windows Mobile 6.1 professional device, however it does have the latest Internet Explorer Mobile 6 browser on it that's going to be included with all 6.5 devices. HTC just included it uh, on the device now rather than wait till uh, the launch of Windows Mobile 6.5. So I'm going to kind of compare that to the Zoom browser since I believe they are based on the same kind of core elements and that kind of thing. Um, just kind of a quick view here you can see that Twitter looks very similar. Now, one thing here on the Touch Pro 2, if we go down to our view options, you can see there's mobile or desktop. If I go to desktop, and then let's see if I do a refresh, it'll refresh me, uh, it won't refresh me, let me see if I go to the bottom. But on the, uh, on the Touch Pro 2, it actually um, you can switch it to desktop and it will actually show you all of the um, websites you're used to in full view whereas it seems like on the Zune HD everything seems to always go back to formatted now uh, just for your information both of these devices are currently connected via Wi-Fi only so there we go that's a full uh, full version that we can see on on both devices let me go ahead as you can see the uh, the zoom's done and I had loaded it up after the touch pro 2 it was still chugging away on the uh, the full Twitter site as you can see it's got a capacitive screen here on the zoom it's very fluid moving right and left if I rotate it around I can also let me just go ahead and set that down for a second I'll just switch that in also show you uh, what the zoom can do is the pinch and zoom as you can see there oh I went back hit somebody's link so it has the pinch and zoom there it's loading again and as you can see it Twitter recommends that you have a latest version of Internet Explorer not this version And I added some favorites. Let's go check out a couple of these other sites on the Zoom HD here. So this one didn't really load for me. This is the Google Reader, but the iPhone version of it. Let's see how it works on here. Last time it would not load up anything. And I believe that's a favorite on here. Oh, there we go. Worked on the Zoom that time. I believe that might be the older version of Google Reader on the Touch Pro 2. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set both of these down and I'm going to type uh, a couple different websites and then I'll hit go at the same time and we can do a, a speed comparison for you. So, as you can see, Zoom could easily be a, uh, as you can see, it's pretty fast, a Google Reader, be a web browser for a couch web browser similar to a, an iPod. Now let me see. There we go. Okay. Let me uh, let me type in a, a couple sites and come back. Actually on the Zoom as I'm typing, I'll go ahead and show you if you can see how the keyboard works, try to get a view of it. I'm going to go to dig because it's uh, one that I did before that took, took quite a while. And as you can see at the bottom, there's a dot .com and a slash and a go to help speed that up. So there's the address. Let me just uh, get it in here on the Touch Pro 2. And uh, all right, so here we go. I'll hit uh, enter and go at the same time. One, two, three. Both again connected via the same Wi Fi connection. And that's it. I must not have typed it right on there. Let's see, what did I type? Oh, 
Dang it, I had two columns in there. Let's try that again. We saw how long it took. Uh, it's still loading on the... Let's see if we can end up beating it here. So it's still loading on the Touch Pro 2. Let's see if the Zoom HD can pass it up here. There's a status bar at the bottom of the Zoom, as you can see, it's turning, uh, it's white, and the white disappears as it loads up. Looks like it went to, uh, went to a mobile version of Dig, as you can see. That's one thing I'm finding with the Zoom HD is it keeps on going to. Uh, to defaulting to all the mobile sites and things like that. There's no way to control any of those settings. Alright, let me get another address. Alright, some people will probably ask about YouTube, so let's go check out and see if uh, the Zoom can do YouTube. And go. Zoom quickly went to a mobile version of YouTube. And the Touch Pro 2 is going to a fuller version of YouTube. Okay, so let's let's just go in here. Now, if I was to tap on a video on the Zoom, it says watch video, tap that, and there's what we get. Can't load the page you requested. So no YouTube on there. Let's try something. Uh, I tried. Let's try Facebook. Let's see what we get. I wish there was a WW. I, mean, I probably don't even need to tap that, do I? And go. Goes the mobile version of Facebook. Go ahead and log in and see what that looks like. So in Facebook, we get essentially the same view on uh, both devices. See, scrollers, scrolling is faster and more fluid on the Zoom HD. However, you know, I've seen uh, statements that this uh, Zoom HD browser is just on underneath the uh, iPhone Safari. I think the Internet Explorer for Windows Mobile is still more powerful because you have the ability to switch to a full desktop view whereas on the Zoom it's all mobile related for example we will jump to my blog so as you can see the Zoom HD um, loaded up again in the mobile side of my blog whereas the Internet Explorer mobile browser on the Touch Pro 2 when I have it in desktop mode will show me the full desktop uh, similar to kind of an iPhone experience as you can see there with all the ads and, and everything else. So the browser on the Zoom HD is, is quite fast and snappy and as you can see it dynamically switches and it's got the pinch to zoom you know kind of functionality like the iPhone very fast uh, nice basic browser however not to have the desktop uh, sites um, can be kind of a bummer kind of limitation I'm not sure if there is uh, anything that can fix that on the browser itself but for now it's kind of limited uh, for, uh, for for browsing mobile sites now I don't buy a, uh, a device like a Zoom for the browsing capabilities it's just kind of nice to have as long as you've got the device around it's uh, it actually is a very nice um, media player as I've showed on the other video very fluid um, and with the um, Zoom marketplace and subscriptions and things like that. It is a nice choice if you're looking for something that's not uh, not an iPod, iPhone or an iPod. And uh, let's kind of a look at the browser on the um, Zoom HD and the 